Hi everyone, it's Mary with Mary Stamping Cafe. Thanks for stopping in on my Saturday stamping recorded video. I appreciate that. Um, thank you subscribers, really appreciate it. I've hit that 700 and my 700th subscriber, I've messaged and said, hey, great, connect with me so I can send you out a prize. <laughs> Speaking of prizes, last week I did a paper pumpkin sharing video about why the prepaid subscriptions, how you can earn free celebration items during January and February. And I'm going to send two people the refill packs for the lovely day celebration from 2021. It's so exciting. Um, I think actually they're from 2020 because we talked about COVID. Ah, that's exciting. So Becky and Marlene, congratulations. The two of you did the hashtag paper pumpkin comments and you are winners. So I'll have you fill out that cafe treats form that's in the link in the description. Be sure to fill that out so I can send you your refill kits. Yay. So there you go. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Click that bell, click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Today I'm going down memory lane. Uh, my dad's been gone about five years now, and I just remember when I saw this beautiful on the ocean stamp uh, set and dies. It reminded me of growing up in Detroit, Michigan, where my dad spent his youth in, in Ontario, Canada, on the Great Lakes, and he spent time building two wooden sailboats. And so we would take that sailboat up to 200 miles north of Toronto, Canada and to Georgian Bay. We'd spend two weeks in the beautiful scenery and get to be on that um, wooden sailboat for so many years. So this is just so nostalgic for me. So as, as I was thinking about this uh, bundle, I also thought about a fabulous um, companion stamp for it on page 61 in the mini catalog. And that is the Watercolor World stamp large stamp set. It's a $23 stamp set and it is distinctive. Distinctive means that it's been etched to where uh, some of the rubber is more raised than others and that you will get a watercolored look image already like you are an artist without even trying. It is so great. So I wanted to combine those two things today and share um, a project that I have but also um, the things I'm using and adding a couple more things will take you to a level two free celebration. That's right. Level two celebrations, you get to pick um, when you hit $100. You can do two $50 uh, level ones if you wanted or jump into that level two and I've got a great one for you on that as well. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see all of my writing here and I'll get to that in just a little bit. So let's talk quickly about our watercolored world and our beautiful on the ocean bundle. The watercolor world I told you was distinctive and that speaks for itself. And the on the ocean bundle has such great dyes in this that you can coordinate with lots of other ocean or water type stamping uh, things that you have. It's got the uh, boat builder that you can build your own sailboat and then of course the outline for this guy here. It has the outline for the clouds and the ship's wheel. It has a couple of flag dies as well as the skull and crossbones that you see there. It's so great. We can weather this together. You're a treasure. I'd be lost without you. Happy birthday. Hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. That covers a lot of themes, doesn't it? All right. So let's bring in things to make this great little card today. Whenever you are using basic white, use the thick basic white if you're going to do um, a base in it. It just needs that stability. And my cardstock is a little wonky. But I think that'll be okay. All right. I have Knight of Navy cut at five and a quarter by four as a layer. This is a standard A2 size card. And these layers are just going to go together lickety split. We still have the month of February for celebration, earning free celebration items. We also have a hosting special. When you host and your party is of a certain amount, $300 to be exact, whether it's a host party or a workshop or a customer order, <laughs> even as a demonstrator, when you're putting in that $300, 
um, of say supplies and all those things you will automatically get a beautiful free scenic garden stamp set totally free add it into your order now I am using Knight of Navy and gray granite as my layer for the front the gray granite is cut at five by three and three quarters it layers nicely right onto the card front I'm holding it and I'm pressing it it is distinctive that means some will be lighter some will be darker but also I'm using gray granite now our colored cardstocks have a bit more fibrous in them and so there we are you want to hold a little bit so you can see that beautiful distinctive some lighter some darker I love it now I have a little bit of rough edging going I was taking my nail and just running it along I love taking masculine cards and giving them that rustic look by doing this so Becky and Marlene who were winners of that it's exciting it's part of when you watch my videos or join my team I have a, a cafe uh, Stampin' Cafe Facebook group or a social stamping group together I also have a Facebook page Mary Stampin spot that is my kind of business page you can check me out there on Facebook so now I'm just going ahead and putting these two layers together see how that cards coming together just like that already so now let's go ahead and grab the ship out of its holder and I need a bigger block for my ship so I'm going to take my waves off of that one and put my ship right there I've got some white here and I am using thick basic white even for my images on this card today because I want things to be sturdy and so let's bring this in Put that on there turn it make sure I've got good good ink and again this is a distinctive stamp so you're going to see some areas lighter some darker and oh that ship just is beautiful you can do this ship in all sorts of colors it's just so great it's hard to believe that the January to April mini catalog we are in January but it seems like we are racing 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 there is so much to see so much to show you <laughs> and so little time <laughs> so I've got my mini boho blue stamp and cut and emboss machine which is fabulous you can never have enough color I say I'm going to grab the outline ship but I'm also going to grab this cloud die I want to use this and I want to actually put our sentiment inside there and I'm hoping it fits so I'm going to go ahead and put the ship on. Uh, for the dies like this, you'll see that you've got the little dots here. That's to help you line up where your mast is and your other parts. And so that's lined up. I can see the little holes are lined up there. And if I put this a little farther, I want to also put my cloud die right there. And if I've done well, I'll be able to put that all through without moving it. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I could do a little washi tape if I wanted to, but that's okay. If I'm off a slight bit, it's a homemade card, right? Nothing's perfect. So let's see how I did. Oh, well, I think I did pretty darn good. <laughs> And I have the cloud. Now the cloud is awesome, and, but trying to put a long saying can be challenging. And so for what I'm doing right now with this is I decided I could do it better if I already had the cloud die cut. Usually when you do die cuts or punching, you do your stamping first and then um, die cut it out, but that's not what I am doing. My nose has decided to give me a little trouble. 
So this is going to come right here. I love this card being monochromatic. It's one of my favorite things. I love cards that are monochromatic, tones of one color. Oof, this one being Knight of Navy. I'll make sure my ship's going to be down well. So I'll go ahead and do that. I am always in the need of more masculine cards and things. All right, so let me bring in this cloud. The stamp that says, hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement is what I want to use. And I thought, I wonder if I can get that on the cloud. Now I tried stamping and then die cutting. I could not get it to work. So I said, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just ink it up and stamp it right on the cloud. So when I look at this, I know that I need to be over here because it gets very skinny right there. And so I come over almost to the end on the left and then you know you have this extra edging along. So you're, you know that at the edge of the rubber you can actually move up a little bit or down a little bit. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm gonna stamp. And that one turned out pretty good. I have that little bit of an E right there and a tiny bit of the O right there. But you know what? I have another that I did a little earlier and this one here, everything's on there really great and there's just that tiny little tick of the Knight of Navy. Well, you know, we do have this wonderful thing called stamp and write markers. And so if I just take the pen part of my marker and kind of just go over that edge, I've then closed my O. If I come here a little bit and just do that line of the E, I've taken care of that E and the excitement and it's totally completely on that now. So I'm gonna use the one I did today with you. All right, so this one is also going to have dimensionals. It's fun to try something a little bit different and see if you can make it work. There's a little bit of a challenge, right? I love a little challenge. There's a little bit smaller ones here. Come here, you. There we go. You want to make sure that longer little skinny part's going to be adhered down as well. Oh, I'm going to stop a minute. Because, you know, there's something that we have in the mini catalog, and it is the mini blending brushes. So there are our mini ones. Now, I want to show you something. I want to do a little test with you and talk about Stampin' Up's blending brushes. You know, a lot of people say, oh gosh, well, you know, there's three of them and you're, it's $11, that's a little expensive. I can go get blending brushes anywhere. You're right, you can get blending brushes anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, you can go to uh, Joann's or Michael's or any of those store craft stores and find blending brushes and get yourself a great little package and they're really nice and expensive. Well, you know, you get what you pay for and I want to tell you why. I have some of those blending brushes. So let's do a little thing now. Let's take a look at the design of that blending brush. Now, do you see here how Stampin' Up's blending brush is much more arced here than the other store-bought brand? Okay. Do you also see that Stampin' Up's blending brush fibers, the brush part, is much taller or more deep than the other, okay? All right, so this doesn't have a lot of cushion. Stampin' Up's is very strong, so it's very, very different in terms of that as well. So Stampin' Up's is more arced than this one. Now, here's the other thing. Watch when I push this down. The first thing that happens, do you see? Well, I don't think you can see it very well. But when I push it down, it goes, the neck goes right down, and now I don't even have this on my cardstock. So let me take this and turn it over and see if I can show it to you. When I press down, see that? See how it just flattens down? There is no strength in that arm of their blending brush. No strength. 
So take the Stampin' Up! one and look. There is no bend. Everything is still right there on it. So I don't have to take my finger and hold it here. Now as an getting to be an aged crafter, I have to have my hand, finger here to hold it. And when I do that, that's putting all sorts of pressure on my index finger here. I don't need that. I don't need all that pressure. When I use Stampin' Up's blending brush, I can hold just like this, and I can go ahead and do this, and this doesn't bend. This doesn't bend and go down like that. It's nice and strong. So not only do we have a good, strong, arced handle that does not bend, like this one, flabby, 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 flabby. No, 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 not flabby. It has a much deeper brush that's rounded and it's just beautiful. This is short, okay? And so totally different in its construction, totally different in its quality and strength. Stampin' Up's by far blending brushes top any of these blending brushes that I have seen or bought on the outside. There is my two minute explanation of why I use Stampin' Up's Stampin' Blends. They are fabulous. There. Okay, now that I've said that, I need to do a little spongy on my cloud. My cloud is just a little too stark white. So all I'm gonna do is dip it in, give it a little tap, 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 itty tap, get a lot of that off, and then I can just come around and give a little kiss of that Night of Navy, because Night of Navy is very dark, right around. And it's just gonna take off some of that harshness of the white, okay? So that's gonna come just right in here, right there, I think. There it is, yes. Hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. Love it. So let's open up our card because we always need our seabirds. When we would sail in Georgian Bay, I just remember the seagulls just following our boat. Follow, follow, follow. It was just so funny. Gosh, there would just be so many of them. And they would just glide along waiting for us to give them something. I don't know what they thought we were going to give them, <laughs> but we never did. Now I'm not going to stamp off on my um, wave here because it is a distinctive stamp remember and so it already does that job for me I don't need to stamp off it already gives some darker and some lighter tones love it we are not finished we want to make this card wonderful for that special someone in our life we have the rustic metallic adhesive back dots they're eight dollars they are in the annual catalog and these are just really nice. They add that little bit of metal feel to it, making it feel a little more masculine. And I love that this card can have, uh, that the stamp set has many, many um, occasions, birthdays and thank yous and things like that. There we are. Oop, took a little of my glue with it. <laughs> There we go. So I've given you that tips on the stamping blends. You want Stampin' Up stamping blends for the high quality. Give a little rest to that index finger. When we craft, we're using those, all those tendons and muscles and things in our hands. And over time, they can get a little sore. <laughs> all right, well, there's my card for today. I love it. Combine that on the ocean bundle. It's a $53 bundle. And then I combine that with the, on page 61, the watercolor world stamp set, that beautiful large world stamp. I can see so many things with this. My daughter, Samantha, she loves maps and world maps and things like that. So I can see doing up something special for her. Now, I had some other ideas because we wanna get you to that sweet spot of $100 to get a level two celebration. And I've got a great level two one to share with you. In the annual catalog, you can get the Baker's Twine Essential Pack for $11. This Essentials Pack has five different, let's just look at it, five different um, 
what page did I said it was on? 146. Sorry. It has five different twines. It has crumb cake and vanilla, 10, 10 yards each, and then black gray granite, which I used gray granite today. I could have used that in my card, and very vanilla. And so you get that whole baker's twine there. It's fantastic and wonderful. Now that's $11. You could, if you wanted to, go back to the mini and take a look at the small blending brushes. You get a package of three blending brushes for $11.50. And again, that quality of the, oops, hello, got the wrong one there. <laughs> the quality of Stampin' Up's blending brushes surpasses far surpasses those that you find on the outside at local craft stores. The other thing I put in there is on page 136 in the annual catalog. There's the um, assorted basic memories and more cards and envelopes. I can't seem to get to my page 136. Right here on page 136, you get 20 card bases and envelopes. That's what I love, note cards and envelopes, memories and more and envelopes. You get all of those envelopes and then you're not having to worry about getting all these separate packages of envelopes when you want some quick card making. 20 cards and envelopes, 10 small, three by four, perfect note card size, um, go in the mail just fine. And 10 large, four by six. And those all coordinate, those card bases coordinate with any of the memories and more cards packs which is great too if you want to grab yourself some of those. Wow, that is awesome. So now that takes you to $100.50 or $101 if you decided to go with the small blending brushes instead of the baker's twine. So let's take a look at our level two celebration because that's our goal today. And our goal today getting into level two, there is the Dandy Designs 12 by 12 paper stack, which, wow, 48 sheets of 12 by 12. Woohoo! 12 double sided designs. That is incredible. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. I want to share with you today, though, the beautifully happy stamp set. So, the beautifully happy stamp set is a level two celebration. It is a beautiful two-step stamping stamp set, although you don't have to. You can stamp it and color yourself if you love your coloring. But for me, I love taking, stamping, then grabbing that ending and put and it looks like you just ah, did such beautiful artistry. So this is the level two here. Now I want to show you a couple of cards. This card's by Sandy. I love the monochromatic look of this card. I think it is fabulous. She um embossed this just par partial of this in white and then added her designer series paper and it's just beautifully coordinated. Now this by Tammy, Tammy did the whole flowers and do you see how beautifully she then took the second stamp and stamped right in? This set lines up so perfectly. It's just phenomenal. The other thing Tammy did here with this corner die, she used the level two Dandy Designs designer paper underneath. It just coordinates so perfectly well with the color choice she did. So that is a fabulous level two beautifully happy stamp set. It is just gorgeous and it will carry you through spring and summer and sympathy and birthdays and all of those things. So if you have not checked out the celebration items, make sure you click the link below to check out all those great free picks. And I will have a blog link below so you can see the card that I made today with the supplies I used as well as my suggestions on how you get to your level two. So hey, congratulations to Becky and Marlene. I have another little giveaway. I'm gonna give one lucky viewer a package of the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Remember that's an $8 package. Oh, you're gonna get that free from me and did you know you earn cafe treat? Uh, cafe treats. You earn coins for every time you shop at my online store. This particular order, if you shopped with me, you would be getting four cafe coins. That's a quarter of the way there for your rewards of $35 of free product. Yay. All right. All you need to do today is leave me a comment and share my video. Be sure to put hashtag, uh, hashtag, 
Mary Stamping Cafe. No spaces, no uh, apostrophes, just hashtag Mary Stampin' Cafe. Share my video, please. Leave me a comment, guys. I really like to connect with you. And until next time, happy stampin'.